I'm back at Channel Islands working on a new book project, and this time I'm not focusing on my usual subject, the adorable island fox, but rather I'm on a new mission. Diving into the surrounding ocean with the goal of telling the complete story of this incredible national park. Today, I'm here on Santa Cruz Island at Channel Islands National Park, and my goal is to get in the water and show you what the marine protected area that surrounds the island is all about. All right, this area looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a swim. It's about 100 feet out to the kelp. So I'm gonna go out on the pier and see if there's a better spot for me to get in, or just maybe a secondary option. I wanna swim into and photograph a kelp forest, because much like the forest here on land, Gonna be full of life and help tell the story of these islands. That's what I'm looking for down there. Kelp forest, look how pretty it is too. Water visibility looks good. This is a three mil wetsuit, 2.5 if you count the hole in it. It was a bit of a swim, but then all of a sudden, I'm in the kelp forest. Kelp forests support some 800 marine species, but they are disappearing. Between 2014 and 2016, 90% of California's kelp was wiped out in a heat wave. Pollution and overfishing of species that help protect kelp has further impacted them. But on a warming planet, kelp is a critical partner. They can store large amounts of carbon dioxide, absorbing the CO2 from the surrounding waters and reducing acidification that can kill sea life. Kelp can also be kind of thick and disorienting, much like being lost in a forest without a trail. Feeling it wrap around your legs, your mask, your camera, are all things that take a little getting used to and some practice. Oh, it's so beautiful down there. <laughs> it's like a giant redwood forest, but completely under the ocean. Swimming through the kelp, I felt like there was something following me, a dark shape. Then I saw it, a huge creature from the shadows emerging inches away. Finally, I get my bearings and float, looking for whatever it was. My cameraman on the dock, though, he had a better perspective. Behind you, to your left. A harbor seal. This whiskered sausage of the sea was curious about who this sole snorkeler was out in the kelp forest. Harbor seals are one of the most common marine mammals, but this is the first time one has ever approached me. With all marine mammals, never approach them, as they're a federally protected species. But sometimes you can't help it if they approach you. This one was very interested in my fins, constantly swimming by me. This seal seems either way too curious or it's become habituated to people. So after a few minutes, I decide it's best to leave the water and let my seal friend continue its journey. I need sunny skies to photograph the magic of a kelp forest. And this fog means my photo shoot is a wrap. It's really pretty, can't believe how high up we are. But look at it, fog's rolling in, it just feels like I'm up in a cloud. The weather may have changed, but that doesn't change the fact that I got to show a new side of this national park, thanks to a magical encounter with my new friend, the Harbor Seal. Mm -hmm. 